So guys, for the first step, you wanna get into this screen. I'm gonna be showing you two ways how to get here. So guys, when you boot from the USB stick or from the installation media, it's gonna take us to here. You wanna click on next and then click on repair your computer, which will then take us into here. You wanna click on troubleshoot. If that did not work for the second way, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As you see the loading screen, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You wanna repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's loading, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then it will take you into this screen. And now once we get to here, it's gonna be seeing that your PC did not start correctly. You wanna click on advanced options. And now we're gonna be here. You wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options again, and then command prompt. If you do not see command prompt, you wanna click on see more recovery options, and then it should appear right here. So now we're gonna click on command prompt. And then once we're in here for the first command, you're gonna type in boot rec space full slash fix MBR. Click on enter. And now you're gonna type in boot rec space full slash fix boot. Click on enter again. If this is access is denied for you, just ignore it, it's fine. Now you're gonna type in boot rec space full slash scan OS. Click on enter. Wait for this to load. And now you're gonna type in boot rec space full slash rebuild BCD. Click on enter. Wait for this to load. And now you're gonna type in SFC space full slash scan now. I click on enter. You want to run this scan. And then once you've done that scan, you want to close out of this. And now you can continue onto Windows. And then the problem should be fixed.